So if, if both sides agree on meeting in Singapore, what actually can be achieved from that summit? Uh, well, look, it's planned for June 12th. It is right around the corner. It's less than two weeks away. And the positions between the two sides, we understand, are not quite on the same page just yet. The American officials here, they're talking about CVID. At this point, it's become an acronym because they mentioned it so many times. Uh, they're talking about complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization of North Korea. But even as as Pompeo himself suggested yesterday, it seems at this point it's not clear how much North Korea is willing to back down from its uh, nuclear program and what kind of security guarantees it can offer not only to the United States but to the rest of the world as well. We know that there's already a softening stance towards sanctions against North Korea by many countries like South, South Korea, China and Russia and we know that this is a trend that could continue if the summit actually takes place and with positive results. But don't forget that this is, might be just the beginning of a rather long process.